last video and now we are heading towards Ellison Provincial Park. We're going to go through um, Vernon and um, we need to kill a little time because we've got a couple hours before check-in time. Ellison Provincial Park is actually on the other side of Okanagan Lake from Fintree and uh, it's I guess the northern Okanagan Lake. It's the north of uh, Kelowna and south of Vernon. So we hope you enjoyed this video. Site number 27, garbage over there, recycling, a couple of flush toilets over there, shower buildings just over there, so we're nicely located. And right behind us is something called the Evening Trail. You just scoot up there and you get a beautiful view over the lake. Nice, I'm, I'm quite impressed with this park so far. And we were just talking to the, the fellow who just checked us in, was telling us it's a very active park. There's hiking, mountain biking, paddling of course and also I think there's even a underwater dive park here big hill behind us I think that's where the hiking is going to be and I think it's time to put out our awning what's nice is the temperature is probably about 18 19 degrees right now so even with the sun it's not too hot and the crows are welcoming us I can tell look forward to wandering up over here on the bluff we're quite a ways away from the water. I think you have to walk down probably a kilometer or so to get to it. But So Gordon got us some food from the Silver Star Brewery in Vernon, downtown Vernon. And I picked up some beer as well. Yeah. Probably gifts for people. And Gordon's got a, a burger, I guess. It's a Silver Star burger, I think. Okay. And I've got a nice you have tofu. A poke bowl. Oh, tofu poke bowl. Yeah. It looks really good. I can't wait to try it. Mm. Very good. <laughs> Around down there. And here's the view. Gorgeous. Looks like there's some private homes down there, probably after the park. And over to the west. I'm not sure where, but there's going to be trails probably either side of us down to the beach. Beautiful. So we may not have a one of the few sites that have, I think, water views, but I think it's not a bad view from just behind our campsite. Wow. Yeah, I can see why you get a nice sunset from here. A little trail here along the perimeter and a uh, section behind me. Obviously, at one point there was a forest fire, I would guess maybe two years ago. Oh, wow. Look at the view. And sadly, I'm here without the pack raft. I wonder if we can get around to that point. Vernon's that way north. Not very far, maybe 20 minutes. Over there is where uh, Fintree is. 
it's quite rural driving that road. Signs warning you that it's open range so cattle can be on it. Yeah, it's quite surprising. Never taken the West Side Road before. It's very windy um, before Fintry. Too windy in my opinion, but <laughs> after Fintry and coming into Verdon, uh, it was very nice. Mickey was actually going to go and try the showers here, but for some reason they're cleaning them right now. So a little later than expected, but we're relaxing. Took, yeah, we love our site. Yeah, and I took Mickey down just on the other side of the ridge. Like it's literally a two minute walk from where we are. And that view is almost tropical. It's so beautiful. Yeah, we're looking forward to going down maybe later. Yeah, we just actually we just actually ran into um, a, a group of our viewers. Yeah, yeah. a family. For, and they actually live in Vernon. But they're here. Well, I don't blame them. It's such a wonderful place to be. Yeah. So they were talking a little bit about uh, uh, sort of you can do a little bit of climbing, a little rock climbing, some scrambling. Uh, they were talking about the biking trails up behind us, mountain biking trails, which I'm going to probably just use as a hiking trail. And they're suggesting we head to the beach and then cross over to the next beach. So, yeah, we're really looking forward to it. Yeah. And it was so nice to run into them there. They're walking along and they looked at us and said, are you guys hiking an RV? <laughs> so it was great. So appreciate them saying hi. And uh, we really like Vernon. It's such a nice city. Yeah. The walk down on the beach trail kind of reminds me of the trail on the, when we're at Pacific Rim, except this is paved. No trail for Summer's Itch. So you can actually walk down that way to that cove and you can also walk down that way to another one. Amazing. So this is called Otter Bay and there is apparently an underwater dive park here as well. So our friend Henry Wang, our diving friend, might like to come here. And this is South Bay. campsite is just up those bluffs back there so nice here a little scramble up some trails again it just like I feel like we're in Hawaii or something <laughs> not 20 minutes south of Vernon just beautiful wait for me <laughs> hard to do with one hand no, there we go. summit up here we're almost at the top of this first little point. Excuse any wind noise, but it's actually starting to get a little bit breezy up here. Wow. Lots of folks in boats. Paddleboard down there. So this is a Sunday. I'm going to guess tomorrow, even if the weather's nice, we won't see very many boats on the lake.
a beautiful day, but it's chilly today. The wind is cool. It's chilly this morning. <laughs> That's what I said. Very nice, gorgeous views from so many areas here. And we came out uh, a little further down the campground. There's the dog beach. The south beach. We were there yesterday and up on those bluffs. And as I mentioned, there's it's now Monday and there's no boats, so it's very nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these beaches are spectacular. We think it's likely that this trail works its way back onto the bluff that we're camped behind, so we'll give it a try. left our way back <laughs> to our campsite. Lunch time, we just had our late breakfast and I'm gonna head up to the hillside there I've, and uh, follow some of the mountain bike routes and see where it leads me. Hopefully some nice views up there as well. This is the turn off off the nature trail. This trail leads its way up to the road. So that's the ridge I want to go up. I just don't know Honestly, where the trails will take me. Trailhead for all the mountain biking trails. I started, oh, down about there. Like our campsite's probably right there. And scooted across to the nature trail. Went up the nature trail. Mickey and I did that loop around this morning and then went down to the beach down this way. I came up here. I'm at the trailhead. And I think I'm going to go home run RPM space in between. I'm just basically trying to get oh, Predator Ridge to go. That's a golf course. So I'm just trying to work my way up. Actually, I think I'll take Blisted Sisters. Change my other, change my opinion. Uh, I'll do Blisted Sisters. That gets me up top, and then maybe I'll work my day down through the middle. It's the more difficult. It just appeals to me. It's taking a little longer than I expected, so I called for an Uber. Here it is. It's already arrived. Let's see what the signpost says right by my Uber. You and me. Easy. Well, that's appealing. I'm going this way. I'm going up the ridge. <laughs> so maybe not the best route. Unless you want to come across a golf course. I guess that's Predator Ridge. This is the boundary of the park. I'm going to carry this way. We'll see how it goes. Beautiful country here. So definitely not a recommended route, at least for me, because some development in here. And that's the ridge I wanted to go on, but I'm still aiming for. I do this next time, I'm definitely cutting up more the middle. So I'm just past the high point on that uh, Vidur or Vidur, <laughs> I can't remember the trail. There's no way up. I'm surprised, but no one's hiked up that way, and you can see it gets pretty steep after this. So along what I think is a, a game trail, you can just see a slight inclination in the bush, but it doesn't appear to go anywhere. It's too bad. I don't know, what, 500 feet higher? I'd be at the top. Maybe next time. All right, work my way back to the trail, which is just over there, and head back down, a more direct route. So the route I ended up taking basically just followed the park boundary. 
was just over four kilometers from the start of the nature trail. So short, pleasant hike. I'll do the RPM till I get down here. And then I have to go that way. Probably the shortest. But I'm just enjoying the walk. It's just pleasant to be here, period. But this is a beautiful forest walk or mountain bike ride, I guess. And if you want views, all you have to do it at uh, Ellison is take a walk on the evening trail, walk and look at some views from the bluffs, take the nature trail, Mickey and I did this morning. Just amazing views. I think if we come up here again, we'd come up, as I've said before, some of the more center trails, stay away from the park boundary. And I took a little side trail, comes very close. Look at that bluff, the views. Getting close. Got to get there. Apparently I'm here. <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun just working different trails. It's great. And my app, I think, even has more trails on it. But look, finally, another spectacular view. There's something about uh, just going up and just exploring. A little disappointed I didn't get to the summit. I did get a couple nice views. I'm not far above the highway right now. But just, I went up more on the north and then worked my way around, stayed on the park boundary and then worked my way down here, um, kind of on the north side of the park's boundary. And I'm just loving it. The trails are nice. Mickey would love these trails. And some of the scenery is gorgeous. The upper portion is heavily forested. But down here, it's open and grassy. Ah, it's just great. Next time if we come, I think we'll go to the parking lot and then head off to the right, which is what I was going to do. But then when I looked at the map, it just made more sense for me to try going around. And I did get to see more of the park that way. Roads, a uh, quarter of a kilometer that way. Parking lot's on my right a little distance. Anyways, nice. Uh, my watch says about seven and a half kilometers and ah, about an hour and 55 minutes. So nice leisurely jaunt. It was fun. Certainly recommend it as a decent little hiking trail. Probably, I guess, 300 meters in elevation gain, but it's probably closer to 225. I forgot about the fact that the campground's above the lake. And we're up over there about a quarter of a kilometer away. I love this spot. Two o'clock in the afternoon, and the sun's just coming around. And then soon it'll be sort of behind some trees again. So hopefully charge up our solar, warm up the van a bit. And I'm gonna see if we have any cold beer. It's me. Hey. <laughs> How was it? It was excellent, you would love it. It's yeah. just nice, simple. Hiking trails, probably mostly moderate mountain biking. I don't know, some bits are a bit tougher. But yeah, I really enjoyed it. It's just a walk in the park. It's really nice. Yeah. Nice. Nice view, a little bit of sun. Very pleasant, nice way to finish a nice little walk in the woods. I have some turkey sausages. Mixed vegetable, rice, peas, corn. Mickey has a vegan, vegan sausage. sausage. Yeah, I just reheated from yesterday. <laughs> we're finishing <laughs> off. We're finishing off wine. Those are the beer. Most of the beer, because I only had a little bit when I came back from the hike. And even the sun's starting to finish off. Actually, it's probably about an hour before sunset, but it's already cresting the ridge. Beautiful here. Good morning. This is our last day at Ellison Provincial Park. And you know, I could sum it up with, I guess, one sentence. 
we can't wait to come back. Yeah. Yeah. It's, we've really loved it here. Mm -hmm. It's a great campground. It's great got park. beaches, amazing views off the bluffs, lots of rock to climb around in for those folks like me that like to do that. Um, some nice, you know, moderate, um, mild to moderate hiking trails across the road. Uh, beautiful views. We paid extra for some wonderful sunsets. Yeah, no, it's nice. In terms of the campsite itself, lots of washrooms, flush toilets, most of them. That noise in the background is the uh, is Alex, the caretaker, and he's uh, just blowing <laughs> leaves off the road. <laughs> yeah, he works really hard. We've seen him around from early morning yeah, all day I long. Most of the sites are really nice. Lots of space between sites. The nicest ones, of course, are back here along the lake. And you've got ones with the bluff behind, like ours. And then you've also got a few lake view sites, which are beautiful. Yeah, the only ones I would avoid if I was here again would be, uh, there's a housing development sort of to the south mm -hmm. and the campsites that are near that. I mean, they're perfectly fine. It's just you're near housing development. It's very quiet, but it just wouldn't feel like you're really camping, at least not to us. Yeah, they have a shower building and uh, water and recycling and garbage. Uh, no dump station though. No, that's very nice. Nice facilities, great campsites. Yeah, we just loved it here. Yeah, we really did. I kind of want to stay another day. <laughs> so we hope you enjoyed this video and our visit to Allison Provincial Park. And if you do, please be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. And we and Finch, we'll see you next time. We'll see you next time.